Hi everyone, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. Um, <clears throat> my last video ended up being stopped altogether. You can check it out if you like. I am posting it because it's funny. BB Girl is like, okay, it's time to do a reading. My cat is keeping me in line. <laughs> okay, so I got new cards. Uh, these are Sacred, Sacred Rebels Oracle from Helena Fairchild, Sacred Rebels. And I was thinking of doing like a little bit of a general reading and then doing a pick a card, but I'll put everything in the timestamp below, below for everybody. So these are brand new, I just opened them, so I was shuffling them a little bit so that we can like mix them up a little. Let's see what we got. These are oracle cards, so this is like more for the collective. All right. My cat is funny. <laughs> now she went to, oh, she's still walking around. Usually she'll lay down or, or you'll see her walk by and her tail will just be in the shot. She's photobombing. I know she is. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Neighbors upstairs are playing some music. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, besides that, I have the bird bird sounds for the cat as well. But it's a nice background sound. <coughs> All right. What do we got? So we will cut. Cut right here. Get this one. Are they thick cards? No, nope, there's two of them. Okay. So this is how they look like on the back. It's really nice looking. We have number 38, Restore and Replenish. Number 38. Look at that. Someone in a fetal position and 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's an 11 card. For those, it's card 38, but in numerology, you add the numbers and reduce it, and it gets to 11 or a 2. But 11 is one of the um, uh, master numbers, and you can keep it as an 11. And it's the master manifester. So it's like this person here is in a fetal position, and fetus right it's then it grows and it's gonna manifest into a human being so this is a human going through a big change has to restore and replenish themselves they went through a big challenge that brought them back because everything that was not their true self got ripped away so then you feel vulnerable so you f you're going back in that fetal position but mother earth is around you the earth helps you so let's go see what definition is. Uh, number 38. So I just received them. Restore and replenish. You are in need of something so much deeper than rest. You need restoration, replenishment, and revival. This will not necessarily come from lying about somewhere, taking a moment out of your day or evening activities. You're more likely to gain what you need by breaking with your routine completely and doing something different. Restore and replenish. My, my son had just put a post and he said, sometimes you got to get out of your own hometown and Instead of saying the same, instead of seeing the same nine people in the same two bars, <laughs> and uh, so I was like, oh yeah, and I said, so uh, I said, yeah, like moving across country and going bungee jumping, and climbing the really tall mountains, because that's what he done. <laughs> but it's good to go on that adventure. You don't have to go far. It's just it's good to get out of your everyday routine completely 
Like today, I went and got these cards. I went on an impromptu road trip. Called a friend and said, I need this. It was a, a type of medicine I was looking for. And there's a store that has it, but it's outside of our little city. So she says, road trip? I said, okay. <laughs> and then, so we traveled. So it was a very nice afternoon and evening. It just, it felt good just to go and do something that was productive, yet it restores and replenishes your spirit, your your frame of mind, your heart. It, it replenishes everything. <clears throat> okay. So it's saying like you need variety, some spice, change, bring uh, change to bring fresh energy into your body, mind, and heart. Need to restore, revive yourself by changing the usual flow of energy through your being. Because um, you can return to your regular routine and time if it feels good for you. However, it is now time to move without pushing yourself beyond what is known, comfortable and familiar. So it's basically making yourself get out of your comfort zone. Although we're all living in a moment where pretty much everyone in these new energies, we feel like we're outside of our comfort zone, but we've managed to still make somewhat of a routine and, and do what we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes it's nice just to break away from that and just to go into something different, something new. Okay. And these usually have a process. Either a poem or something for the healing process. All right, so I'll put this up and I'll share the healing process aspect of this. Healing process. Imagine that you are floating in an ocean that has colors of turquoise to deep green and darkest, deepest blue. Notice what colors, fe what colors feel good. Enter and remain in that space for as long as you like. The water might be warm and sparkling, shallow and heated by the sun, or cool, deep and mysterious. Allow it to be whatever feels good to you. When you are ready, open your eyes and break that routine of yours. You will have completed your healing process. So right now you're going through an important change. Um, transition phase between one level of experience and the next so you're up leveling and it's not like just passing a grade at school or, or fin you know passing a test it's not ex it touches base on more than just the mind it touches base on everything about you so it's 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 a little bit more than what we're used to that we call tests in life. Okay. Um, so these moments like this, restore and replenish, they don't it's temporary, okay? It doesn't um, it doesn't last forever type of thing, you know? And uh, you do get to the next phase quite quickly. In the meanwhile, do what feels good to you. And then, I won't read it, but there may be a moment in that it's like after the storm. You'll see through the darkness, there's an owl there after the storm. And it's bringing like a, a sacred geometry cube thing. It's the Merkaba, is it? It looks like the Merkaba, but in 3D, like in uh, with all its lines. So it's bringing you this time of restore and replenishing. It'll bring you clarity. It'll bring you illumination. And you'll get to see through the inner depths that seemed dark before. Okay. All right. So that's the collective reading. Okay. 
Okay. Now, what did I want to do? All right. Pick a card. How many are we going to pick? I'm going to use the Romance Angel Oracle cards as a as like one card each. And you choose whichever one. These are the they're knockoffs because they're not no longer in print, so they're smaller and but it's still the same cards. It's still the same definition. Uh, and they're holographic, so I'll try to move them somehow. I'll read it to you, but I'll try to move it so you can kind of capture the title of it. They're holographic. It's hard to see sometimes. So what do we have? First, second, third. How many piles? Ooh. One. Two, three, four, okay, one, two, three, four, bottom of the deck, five, Fifth. all right, let's see what we got. Pile number one is going to be stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Your love life is also about your inner love. Okay. Uh, next one, heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That'll be part num uh, pile number two. Then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, that'll be for pile number three. And pile number four, forgiving and learning says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So that'll be pile number four. And pile number five, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And they're also talking about, like, the way I'm going to look at soulmate here, because it's more of a 5D reading, is your soul. You, the human, and your soul, and how you connect to your divinity. Okay? So we're going to get to pile number one. Hello to those of you that chose pile number one. It says, stay optimistic about your love life. And we're using the Medicine Woman Tarot deck. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got here for. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Mm. Four bowls is like four cups. We start off with four cups. Maybe you're not feeling as optimistic as you should. Maybe you're feeling what you're being given is not what you asked for exactly. So stick to thinking positive. Bring yourself in your center. Bring yourself into your inside balance. Bring your mind to your heart to really sense things. Because it's that self-love that will make your magnet be polarized into attracting love in the first place. Not just love, it's also things that you'd like to manifest in your life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you blank, bring you whatever it is that you're asking for. So it says to continue having that positive, more positive inner talking, like inner speech. Encourage yourself. 
if you see yourself going like, oh, well, I never, wait, wait, wait. Like, change, have that con internal conversation with yourself to bring yourself to being in an, op seeing and, and feeling things in an optimistic way, as best as you can, right? Okay, what else do we got for pile number one? Pretty much says it all. Let's go see. Let's go see what we have from completion of an or completion of a cycle oracle deck. It's the ones I made. These are the ones I created. That was my own drawing. But I have the original ones on blank cards. And I like I like using the uh I like them both, but I just, I like my original ones. So what do we have for an advice for pile number one? These are going to be quick ones. Isn't there another card? No, I think that was it. Yep. What do we have here? Oops. Okay. says you are where you're supposed to be at this moment stay optimistic keep having your faith that things will line up you are where you're supposed to be and it also says you've got this because you are worthy All right. so let's see what we got from just gonna take the main words, not the whole definition from the sacred rebel oracles. We're gonna grab one for each as well. So which one do we have for this pile? They stick together. They're brand new. Card number seven, legacy of light. So look at that. Whatever it is that you're asking for has to grow into manifesting, into manifestation. So it takes time. What you're asking for takes time. Allow it the time it needs. Don't get discouraged and continue. Basically, be the sunshine to that seed you planted. Okay. All right. What do we have? All right, that's... That's the reading for pile number one. Thank you for watching and supporting. And now we're going to move on to uh, pile number two. Hello to those of you who chose pile number two. Uh, those of you who chose heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There could be a conversation that you need to have with someone or you feel that you want, either you want to have with someone or someone wants to have with you. And, uh, and it says, when it does happen, be honest in your discussion while explaining your feelings to each other. Ten of stones. Stone is... Pentacles. Ooh, this honesty may bring in a wish fulfillment of things that are of value to you. Ten of Stones equals the Ten of Pentacles. So it's it's gonna bring in a good dynamic, a good relationship with this person because you've opened up and are being honest with them. That is awesome. So it's going to go well. Now let's see what we have from the completion of our Psycho Oracle deck here. Alright, what do we got for an advice? This heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to be a good trade of energy. 
it's, it's like a, a good give and receive. You can imagine how the conversation will go ahead of time with good intentions. Like you imagine it being successful. You imagine not necessarily what's going to be said, although there is something maybe heavy in your heart and you won't explain it, in the best way possible so you, you know the other person will hear, understand, especially understand you, also hear you, and uh, then you'll have an answer. Then you'll have an understanding between the two of you. And that's what's going to bring in that type of that relationship prosperity. All right, the advice that comes out is surrender to love and practice compassionate action. So allow, allow love to lead the way in this conversation. And what else do we have? It says, just remember through all this, you are loved beyond measure. No matter how it goes, there's still something of value. Even if the person is non-responsive and you're trying to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you are loved beyond measure. Maybe that person's not ready for this conversation. However, regardless, it's going to be a successful conversation. Okay? Some people, they need time to think about what just happened and reflect on their own actions. Because even if it appears negative, it's not necessarily negative. I remember having a conversation with someone or trying to say something. And the other person kind of said, asked, they asked a question, but at the same time, they were it was rhetorical. And this was someone I care about. And the next day I went to visit, they said, they said come here, come here. They said, because they had time to reflect on their own way of being. And they said, remember when I said that? I said, yeah. They said, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to come out cross like that. And I, I know that, you know, and they, they start, they apologize. And it was a heart-to-heart -heart conversation at that moment. That's when it happened. And I said, it's okay. I, I've done things like that too. Like at the, Now I learned not to do it, but maybe, you know. So it does ease out. It does, if it doesn't happen the first time, it'll happen later down the, the road and it will be successful. Okay. Uh, let's get a, let's get a sacred rebel oracle. See what kind of rebellious energy is going to be in here. Rebellious energy. What do you have? Sacred Rebellious. It's the same as the collective read, restore and replenish. Maybe it's something that it feels like it's a, it's something that deep in your heart that really hurts you to the core and you want to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone and the universe is saying it's going to be successful that you are loved beyond measure to surrender to love practice compassionate action it's going to be a very gentle experience it's going to heal this okay it's going to help with your restoration and replenishing all right Pal number two, thank you for listening. This has been your reading. And now we're going to go prepare for pile number three. Hello to those of you who chose pile number three. Those of you who chose the one that said soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. It either speaks about your actual soulmate or it speaks about you connecting with you. You are your own soulmate. You, you have the divine feminine and divine masculine and you're integrating them and you're making yourself balance with the two energies that you hold. Okay, it's making the balance of it. 
There's the protective aspect of the divine masculine and the nurturing aspect of the divine feminine. Okay, so let's see what we got from the tarot. This is the uh, Medicine Woman tarot deck. Woohoo! Okay, so we got Totem of Stones. Snake, the crawlers. Ooh, deep, deep, deep. Stones are pentacles. So this would be. Let me just go check in the book which one this would be. I also have the. It doesn't matter if you're male and you're watching this. This is just the cards I'm using. The more divine feminine. Okay. Totem of Stones. Totem of Stones. It says, Although my trade, and this is the prayer they have for it, Though my trade may seem humble to many, I am skilled in inner ways. My job may not appear to change the world, but in my consciousness, every movement of my hand corrects a wrong. If I turn a potter's wheel, I turn the earth and visualize the healing of this planet. If I swing a hammer, I nail a thought of God to someone's house and bestow blessings on each room. When I plant a tree, I put in the whole my power to grow beneath it, making it strong and making me free. I look like your ordinary worker, but I am learning a higher trade. I am in the school of sacred studies, and all life is a lesson to me. Mother Earth is my professor, Father Son my guide. My work I do for these who sustain me. Humbly, I carry on through the density of Earth's material, materially, materiality. There we go. Uh, matter, mother, matter. You are the expression of all love embodied. This soulmate, this, uh, it's speaking about you. You are your own soulmate. It's discovering the inner depths of you. There's, it's, it says, uh, totem of stone. It says snake, the crawlers. This is what it looks like. And the snake has always been a, uh, symbol for transformation worldwide, at least, at least throughout, uh, sacred geometries, at least throughout all the indigenous and ancient cultures. It's a known symbol that represents transformation. Um, it says you are a keeper of the planet. Study the creatures that crawl the earth, turning dirt into soil, composting waste. The smallest life forms, the tiniest crawlers, are necessary to break down the larger forms that are no longer needed. Disintegration, death, and transformation are part of the cycle of life. The snake has always been the symbol of eternal energy and transformation. Healing comes by destruction and rebirth. The old skin is shed and a new one is ready. Life continues. Learn from the creatures who live in Earth's body. They are the humble and the great. Yes, this is your soulmate, humble and the great. Wow. Let's get completion of a cycle oracle de uh, card. Wow. See through with different eyes, the veil, everything to get to your soulmate. And, and those of you that 
chose this pile, number three, for those of you that are looking for your soulmate, everything's in these cards are asking you to, to, to look at things differently, to go through the transformation you need to be able to match up to your, um, there's changes you know inside you need to do because you've arrived at a few blockages and you figure you could go without, but there's an inner stirring and they're like, and you're like internal conflict after is like, I know I should be doing this, but I keep doing that. And, and then, and then you, you, you gotta make that peace. You gotta let go what you no longer need and, and, and allow the brand new to come through you. So it's asking, everything is asking you to look at things differently, see through with different eyes. And, and it's called, it's talking about the veil. It could be, uh, it could talk about also uh, what you put into denial. It could talk about the things you know you should do and you're not doing them. That's denial. But it, it talks also about observing and listening within And asking yourself, what do you really want? What would you like to see in, in, in a relationship? You reap what you sow. Fertilizer makes you grow. Fertilizer moments. I had corrected it in the deck I published, but uh, I says, you reap what you sow and fertilizer moments make you grow. Fertilizer moments is when you have the... When S H I T moments happen, I called it fertilizer moments. If you are that seed and you're you're brand new and you're starting to grow, right? Look at things around you differently, including yourself. See through, try to observe yourself as if you're the third person in your interactions with others. You get what you give. That's part of it too. Let's see what we got from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. For pile number three. Oh, okay. That one came out. Shock of the new. You're going to go through these changes. Then you're going to be shocked. Either you're going to be the shock because you're new or you're going to be, be shocked by everything that's new about you. Like you, you're more beautiful than you think. You're more than what you think. And you're more capable than what you ever thought you could. Before breaking through... We see ourselves as very limited and very small. But once we break through, we're freaking amazed at how... Just how awesome we are. There's no word. You, you gotta go through it to sense it. And you will. Enjoy these moments. And you see she has music. Music helps, the right frequency, the right music, so you can listen to things. You can change your music, get out of your comfort zone, check it out. And then there's growth, there's flowers, here. there's growth, there's the, um, she could be singing or humming, or, and it's the vibration, how you speak, pay, listen and observe, like your speech, how you use your words, what are you really projecting how are you being seen by others but let's say you looked at yourself and then you can make adjustments if you want to at that point okay so pile number three this is an amazing reading this has been your reading and we'll see you next time now we're going to prepare for pile number four. 
Hi, those of you who picked pile number four. Pile number four had the card that says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So it's uh, forgiving and learning. All right, let's see what we got for the tower card. Forgiving, oh, forgiving and learning. Okay, we got one of the prayer cards that came out. We're going to take it. So there'll be two. There's two prayer cards in this uh, deck. It's the um, Medicine Woman Tower deck. <coughs> Forgiving and learning. Welcome energies of the earth, air, fire, and water. Let us create a life of beauty, reverence, and wonder. With each season, let us rejoice through every phase of sun and moon. Let us be in harmony in every direction. Shall we offer our love? Let the reading begin. Nice. What a nice prayer. So you guys get a prayer in yours. And you also get the first card. You get the magician. You get the resources for giving and learning. You know, through your journey of forgiving and learning, there's going to be resources coming towards you. And it says, welcome the energies of earth, air, fire, and water. So welcome all four directions to come and help you while you're going on the path of forgiving and learning. Forgiveness is not an easy path to take because you need to humble yourself and, and to really allow yourself to be vulnerable and to want to make corrections in your life. Okay, But you will learn and you got the magician card which means you have everything you need within you to be able to accomplish this no matter how hard it may feel or how hard it seems or how challenging it could get. You're just, you're, you're battling your ego. Okay, a lot of times you'll be battling your ego because it's the ego that, that wants to stay in charge. And it's like, no, my spirit's gonna be in charge. My authentic self is gonna be in charge. And the ego, I know I need it in this lifetime. However, I'm still putting it in the back seat of my car and I'm the one driving this vehicle. And backseat drivers, they don't speak. But if I need you to calculate something, then I'll request for your help. Besides that, you put the ego back in its place. And because you do need it. Okay. Uh, but it's not it's not the master, it's a good servant to you, the consciousness, the awareness that is you. And there's a lot of resources that are going to be around you. That means people, places, situations, synchronicities that are going to come together through this journey for you to be able to accomplish this, the forgiving and learning journey. It's a nice path. I went through it. Uh, for some people, it takes a while. For other people, they go through it quickly. And then later in life, they got to come back to some little pieces they may have missed. But that's part of the human experience. And sometimes uh, certain other things in life takes priority. Uh, but regardless, you got everything you need around you. And everything that's not there yet will be provided along the way. Okay. So what do we have for an advice from the completion of a cycle? Oracle cards. What do we have for this pile number four? So you got a special prayer and you're going to come together. I know it says marriage, but it's more about the union part. You're going to come together. All those parts that were not agreeing within you, the internal conflict, you're going to reach that balance. You're going to start having that unity consciousness. 
Because for forgiveness to happen, it created like, you got to have two sides that come together in cooperation and tolerance and love and compassion. In compassion. So you're going to have union. Okay? There's going to be a union, a connection, a uh, agreement done within you and around you. Because whatever happens on the inside, as within, so is the outside, as without, as above, so below, as within, so without. Oh, there's one that flipped in here. Surrender to love and practice compassionate action. So that is for yourself first and also onto others, but you do it for you first, okay? All right, let's see what we got from our Sacred Rebels Oracle. What do we have for the message for pile number four? Forgiveness is also, uh, it's, it could be like your own, like inside your journey. It could be little things. It could be forgiveness of other, if it triggered you, other people's choices. If it triggered you, you could forgive them just, not because you agree with what they did, but at least to set yourself free. Because it's not your life to judge. It belongs to them. So you can forgive yourself to have judged them in the first place. Maybe it was purely out of not understanding and trying to understand what they're going through. So surrender to love. Practice compassionate action with yourself and onto others. Okay. Ooh. Pandora's gift. Inner trust. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> this is like the choice. If you don't do it, you're going to get Pandora's gift. I'm joking around, right? But you know about Pandora's box? You don't want to open that box, right? But the one that came through... This was, universe like has a sense of humor, okay? It really does. And sometimes it'll laugh at you a lot, especially when you fall and then you get back up and, oh, look at that. They're laughing. They're always laughing. The universe is always laughing. You'll get to know this. Uh, inner trust. Trust yourself throughout this journey. This journey of forgiving and learning. Trust in yourself. That's a big one. Trust your intuition, your gut feeling, not your ego, because he's in the back seat. He's not allowed to speak. Know the difference. You'll recognize what the difference is, because if it's the ego, then you receive Pandora's gift. You open that can of worms you don't want opened. So it'll cause reactions. You won't like those. So just surrender to love and, and practice the compassionate action. The more you do that, the more you're creating a brand new reality for yourself. That's much more loving. And plus you're the magician. So you get, you got the magician card So you, and the resources. You get to create all this for yourself. So I got no worries for you. I know you'll be successful upon them before. It's been a pleasure and this was your reading. I will see you next time. And now we're going to prepare for pile number five. Welcome to those of you who chose pile number five. You are the ones that chose calling in your soulmate. So this is the group that's calling in their soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Imagine what it would be like if your soulmate was in front of you. Imagine. How would you feel? What would you what would you say? What what's the first things you would say to each other? Right? Those are the things to visualize or imagine. Our imagination is strong. Test it out. <laughs> oh. 
All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Woohoo! That fast? Well, you must have really imagined it because you. It, it, it really worked. Okay, what do we have? Two of bowls. Out of all, out of all cards to come out real fast. Two of cups. Two of bowls is two of cups. Look at that. That's that's like minor arcana uh, lovers card. Basically, it's a love offer. You're calling in your soulmate, and your prayers, affirmation, and visualization to help you bring. Helps bring you together, so and then you get the two cups, two of bowls. How awesome is that? It just it just clicked together. Wow. So you're getting what you want. Nice. That's positive. Yay. All right. Let's see what we got from the completion of a cycle oracle card. It says mirror, mirror. You are mirroring each other. Aha! So it gives a little bit more insight on how to call your soulmate, too. You gotta be ready for it. If you're not ready for it, your soulmate's not ready for you either. What you want wants you. So this is possible if you are ready for it. I don't know. I don't want to hear that. I heard someone out there saying, oh, I knew there was a catch. It's not about a catch. It's about being sure of yourself, trusting yourself, about being actually ready for for what it is that you're asking. So I could say, I, I, I want, um, I'd like to have an elephant. But if I'm not ready for it, I live in a tiny apartment on the third floor. I'm not ready to have or own an elephant. <laughs> See what I mean? You gotta be ready for it. So it says, follow your heart. I know you will be there. So as you're getting ready for it, you follow your heart's promptings, whatever it is. Do you need to change your diet because you weren't taking care of your health that good? And you wanna be ready for your soulmate. You, you wanna be your best. You wanna be living your best life when you meet your soulmate. Because that means your soulmate is also doing the steps to living his or hers best life to be ready to meet you. Everyone wants to meet on the best level there is. Everyone wants to be at their best. Doesn't mean you won't go without any challenges while you're together. It just means you've overcome. It just means that both of you has done the travels of overcoming big tra um, challenges and are coming better on the other side, stronger, with a little bit more know-how and wisdom. And then when you get together, then you can share and compare and, and help each other out for a journey together. So follow your heart. I know you will be there. That's like your higher spirit talking to you. Okay. Listen to your inside. If you listen to your intuition, you'll get to your destination even faster than you ever thought in your head. Okay. Let's get a Sacred Rebels Oracle on this pile. <clears throat> no. Too many. And they were going to go on the floor and I caught it. <laughs> it was being rebellious. <laughs> That's the energy of it. All right, so what do we have for pile number five? For their calling in their soulmate. Two cups. Follow your heart. What do we got? They're stuck. Oh, card number 31. Trust yourself. Listen to yourself and trust yourself. So you may be listening, but how many of us knew something and we didn't do it? And after the fact, when everything went not the way it was supposed to, we were like, ah, oh, shoot. I knew I should have done that instead. So it's listen to yourself, yes. 
Maybe you, you don't know how. You, you have heard it before. And now it's about trust yourself. Trust what you're hearing. Okay. Give it a go. See how it... How... It, what kind of adventure you get on to when you do this. And, and, and who you meet along the way. Alright. So trust yourself. And look at how many... Look at in the imagery how many helpers there is everywhere. All these people are there, people, beings. It's the spirit of these animals. Everything will be a cooperative component if you allow it to. So this pile number five has been your reading. Thank you very much for supporting. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. And we'll see all of you another time. And I think this is the end of the reading for now. All right. So see you next time.